Hello class 5 students, this is Samreen here and today I am going to teach you active and passive voice in English first, okay, in grammatics and that is uh, there on page number 93 and the chapter is 22. So please open that and let's start. So students, first we need to understand what is an active and passive voice. So, first please see the example. What is that? Mohit writes a letter. Okay. What Mohit writes a letter. So, what when we change this sentence means Mohit is a subject and letter, a letter is a what? Object and writes is a verb. So, students, first we need to understand the tense. The tense is simple present. So, when we change this tense and subject in the place of object and object in the place of subjects, so the voices of both will change. Okay. For example, see the first one. In the first sentence, the verb right shows that the subject Mohit does the action. So, such a verb is said to be in the active voice. Means, the action is done by the subject. And in the second sentence, the verb is written shows that the action is done to the subject means letter. So, such a verb is said to be in passive voice. So, this is how we can, you know, uh, categorize active and passive voice. So, how do we change that? See this one, uh, a letter will be in the place of subject, then write. So, how we are going to write means simple present tense will be changed in uh, means first we will add is mr according to the subject and this rights will be changing in uh, which form participle form okay so it is past participle okay written so a letter is written by mohit by is a preposition which we have to use in each of the active and uh, sorry in each of the passive voice so the way it is written here a letter is written by mohit everywhere we have to do the same I hope it is understood to everyone. Same uh, one box is there downside. There you can see. I am talking about this one. There you can see subject of active voice. Then verb, rights, then object of active voice. Same I have explained you. Okay. Now come to the some of the rules. How to make some active and passive voice. So for that we need to understand the tenses. Okay. Come to the next page. Study the following sentences. See, only one sentence is written in different forms, in different tenses. For example, Amit writes a letter. Okay, so when we will change this into passive voice, this simple present or present simple, a letter is written by Amit. Okay, is MR we will have to add then, then past participle means third form of the verb we have to write. Next, past, simple past is there. For example, Amit wrote a letter. So, wrote will be changing as means as past participle and we have to write was were according to the subject. A letter was written by Amit. Next one is future simple. So, Amit will write a letter. A letter will be. We will add be here. Be written by Amit. Okay. Next one is now come to present continuous tense. I am talking about present continuous. Amit is writing a letter. So, how it will change? Uh, it will be changed. A letter is being. We will add being. B-E-I-N-G being written by Amit. Alright. The moment you are going to understand or the moment you are going to keep all the tenses, how it is going to be changed in your mind, you will be doing each and every sentence by your own. So, please understand this table. Understand all the tenses and keep things in your mind. Next one is past continuous means was writing will be changed means was being written. Okay. Then will be writing a letter. Amit will be writing a letter. Future tense it is. So, let me show you here how it will be written. The, that uh, a letter, uh, sorry, this will be the same all uh, means future continuous will not be, uh, be uh, we have, we are not supposed to change this one. This will be same as it is like a letter will be will be because it is what what is that future continuous so it will be same will be writing by a letter will be written by Amit okay no need to add anything in that next one is present perfect Amit has 
written a letter so has been we have to add here amit has been what a letter has been written by amit next one is past perfect amit had written a letter so a letter had been written by amit next again future perfect amit will have written uh, amit uh, will have written a letter so what we will write here a letter will have been written by amit so likewise we have to complete all these sentences okay some other rules are there for example here you can see uh, for example here i will look into the matter so the matter will be looked into by me okay so here verb plus preposition we have to add some of the sentences are with preposition so likewise we have to change now students come to the exercise a recognize the verb forms it is very important to understand the verb forms first okay used in the following sentences and write whether they are in active voice or in passive voice okay so i told you already when the form form is written without any verb like uh, writes wrote okay and with first form okay first form of the verb so that is active voice and when there are changes like if it is written is am are with the past participle being or been okay with past participle so that is passive voice okay so i'll show you the answers for example they bought entry tickets at the counter this is active voice then i will charge you a fee that is also active voice okay and we have to identify what verb also in that so the what is the verb bought then will charge also is a verb in second sentence in third sentence the mice were caught by the cat here it is written you can identify with by also here okay these are passive voice so i'll show you the answers here you can see uh, sentences in your book and answers here for example bought simple past active voice okay will charge simple future active voice were caught is the verb that is passive voice okay past participle okay passive voice then uh, were caught again past part was caught again past participle the thief was caught by the police passive voice theek okay? hai then wrote she wrote a letter to her brother wrote simple past active voice okay fifth one uh, sixth one shobit is liked by everyone so is liked that is simple uh, what is that present participle okay is liked that is passive voice so likewise you have to complete students okay now come to exercise number b exercise b change the following sentences from active to passive voice see the first one my father wrote this letter so we have to identify the verb first that is wrote simple past simple past will be changing like how we will change this one this letter was written by my father okay i'll show you the answers then next one for example you can see the sentences from your book and then answers i'm showing you here here you can see for example second sentence is i shall teach them this lesson okay so this lesson shall teach is which form by the way ha huh? it is simple future okay so this lesson shall be we will add be teach will be you know converted into past participle that is taught to them to them we will add preposition we will add here to them by me like that we will complete this one okay this second one all right this one all right uh, next third sentence the farmers have plowed their fields so how we will do that the farmers have plowed their fields so the farmers field have been plowed by them this is also correct there are two ways i made this one and the fields have been plowed by the farmers so this also you can right any way you can write both are correct okay fourth one is uh, we were shooting a film so a film was being shot by us were shooting which tense it is past continuous right so what we have to add in that being okay next one fifth one is the hunter shot the tiger shot means simple past so the tiger was shot by the hunter okay all three forms are same okay so likewise you have to complete exercise b also now come to exercise c
in exercise c my dear students uh, there is very little space so please fill this you know uh, with small words means do not make very large words okay write with small writing small alphabets please make so what you have to do fill in the blanks with the passive form of the verbs given in the brackets okay passive form of the verb so any form we can choose here any tense we can choose like uh, simple present we can use okay uh, then uh, past we can also use future we can also use okay so what i use here uh, i already used here i used past okay past tense for example i'll show you the answers at last let me uh, you know uh, tell you what i have filled here the annual function of our school was held we will write here was held on 10th september the director of education was invited as the chief guest okay the function was presided over by him the prizes were given away by him preposition uh, preparations for the annual function preparations for the annual function were made a few days in advance okay the school building was white washed then the main hall was decorated okay like way we have to complete those who were invited started coming for the function the chief guest was welcomed and garlanded by the school principal the annual report was read out by the principal prizes were given away by the ch chief guest to Uh, meritorious students and sports persons so students likewise we have to fill let me show you the answers these are the answers likewise you have to fill in your book okay everywhere i used only past tense any other tense also can be used in that okay for example the annual function of our school is held on okay likewise we can complete so it is better to fill uh, this one so that there won't be any confusions okay now come to exercise number d all right exercise d we are going to start in exercise d what you have to do rewrite you have to rewrite each sentence using passive voice let me tell you how we are going to use that people produce cars in this factory so this fact in this factory so what they produce cars hai na so what uh, what is the object actually cars so what how we are going to start this one cars are produced okay in this factory by people or cars are produced by people in this factory i'll show you the answers okay you can see sentences and then you can see the answers here okay next one is the farmers has grown carrots in this in his field so what what the farmers has grown carrots no carrots is the object carrots so carrots are the object so carrots have been grown by the farmer in his field okay next one is mrs mishra milks her cow twice a day so mrs mishra's cow is milked okay what is the subject here mrs mishra's cow right so mrs mishra's cow is milked by her twice a day okay this is uh, the way we have to make this sentence next one is fourth one amit played golf every sunday morning so golf was played by amit every sunday morning okay please fill these answers these passive uh, sentences in your book here here okay with a very beautiful handwriting i hope this chapter is understood to everyone in live class you can clear your queries or uh, in uh, comment section also you can write down okay till then please complete your work and take care keep studying